Okay guys, so as I have promised for the past several days, we're going to do a cigar review tonight. Not the most ideal situations all the way around to do it, but I figured I've got to get this one out of the way because I've got two samples to review. Eight cigars, so I figured I'd get this one out of the way. Plus, I've been promising you guys for like nine or ten days that I'm going to do this thing. I've had this cigar for like two weeks. I had it punched up. It's going to do it here a while back, and my back was hurting me so bad that I couldn't do the video. I've, I've made a lot of um, attempts to do videos, but here lately I've been having some bad back issues, and it's uncomfortable for me to sit for long periods of time without, you know, having to lie down and stretch out a muscle or something. But uh, we're going to suffer through this and do this review tonight. Now, this is a cigar I've been really wanting to do a review on because I've really been wanting to try it. Never had one before. This is a completely unbiased cigar review from start to finish here, guys. Beautiful cigar. You can tell it's very well made. I got this at my local B&M for, oh, probably $11, $12, about a dollar and a half more than they really should charge. But, you know, if you get them online, you get a paid shipping fee. So, I mean, it's kind of an even trade. Nice, nice dark brown, dark chocolate wrapper. One small little old vein right there. Invisible seams. Pretty firm pack. These uh, cigars are highly acclaimed in the cigar world. That's why I've always wanted to have one. Don't mind my puppy playing by himself in the background back there. That's just Willie. So anyway, the uh, fillers on this cigar are four to five year age Dominican Lijero which is the top leaf of the plant. So it's the darkest, thickest, stoutest leaf on the plant. Four to five year age, that brings a lot of that stoutness down, but you still got that strong flavor. So that's what I'm anticipating out of the long fillers. And it's a Dominican binder. And then the wrapper, of course, is why this thing is named what it is. It's a virgin sun-grown Sumatra seed wrapper grown in a high altitude, a private high altitude um, estate in Ecuador. And then these cigars are built in the Dominican Republic. So there's the guts of this thing. This is the Robusto. It's about five and a half, five and a half by 50. They've got probably five or six different sizes. This is the only one I found. I'm really excited to try this thing. So let's give it a sniff. Right away, a lot, right away, a lot of those deep earthy notes. It's a sweet age, a dark sweet age tobacco, and there's a little bit of a black pepper smell on there that's kind of interesting. On the foot, though, it's pretty stout. There's a lot of deep, rich earth, and I'm getting some chocolate, plenty of chocolate. It's pretty nice. You can tell that these are four to five year age tobaccos when you smell them. If you've had four to five year age tobaccos, you know what they smell like. So, I'm really excited about this cigar. And hopefully my back won't hurt me too bad to fully enjoy it. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, you know, I had made several attempts to make videos. I mentioned over the weekend I was going to do several videos because I had um, a couple of box, uh, three packages come in, a couple of unboxings and things like that. And um, I had two cigar samplers come in. I did unboxing videos on both of them. And then right after that, I did a, a rehouse video on my tarantula. And I subsequently somehow erased the two unboxing, so that was probably boring anyway. And then the unboxing of Jamie's Tarantulas, it wasn't good enough for me to even post it. The rehouse turned out pretty good, but I haven't been able to do a cigar review because, like I said, my back hurts. And I just, so I'm probably going to sit down while I talk to you guys about this thing and get it and walk around while I'm enjoying it. So without any more delay... Perfect draw. Flavor bomb right off the bat. There's a lot of that deep earth that I was talking about. There's leather, there's chocolate, there's a pepper coming in on the end. Wow. Full body, right off the bat, full bodied. So I would suggest anybody that likes a full body starting out not to have one of these. It may change up. It may surprise me. I don't know. Like I said, I've never had one of these, so it's a completely unbiased opinion. Really flavorful though, right off the bat. 
The smoke is thick and chewy too. I like that. And full of flavor. Okay, guys. So I'm going to let this thing get warmed up and get up and stretch my back. And then I'm going to come back and give you some more of my opinion on this wonderful cigar. Okay, so a quick little update on the Ashton VSG Robusto. You can see it's burning beautifully. Nice straight burn. Ash needs no attention to the beautiful ash. I forgot to mention that this cigar is made up entirely of the highest primings from the tobacco plant. So it's not just the wrapper that's the darkest, the thickest, and the stoutest. It's throughout the whole cigar. The top leaf, a lot of times, when it's aged and fermented right, makes a beautiful wrapper too. This thing is glistening with oils. I don't know if the camera's really picking that up, but I'm definitely picking it up on the lips. There's a, a little bit of an oil in it. So you can tell this is a very well-aged and fermented tobacco leaf. Flavors, it's just, it's an onslaught. I mean, it's it's all smooth, dark, and rich. Um, the, uh, the base that I'm getting a lot of is a dark chocolate and a pretty heavy earth. And then there's a roasted nuttiness and a little bit of uh, coffee like black coffee coming in and out. I mean, it's it's in your face. This cigar is a full flavored and full bodied, but medium strength. Uh, not much on the strength yet, but I tell you what, this sucker is delivered on the flavor and, and the body. I, I really love it. It's a heavy bodied cigar. I mean, this is another one of those where you can almost feel like you can chew the smoke, you know. Not a heavy, heavy smoky smoke um outputter i'd say you know mediocre i like it you know at least you get some smoke on the draw so you know that it's still burning and everything and it's not real heavy on the foot just kind of washing out everything so that's what i think of it so far it's pretty damn good so i'm gonna get a little bit further into this thing and then tell you what we've got at that point okay here we go ashton vsg robusto as you can see, still burning nice and straight. The damn ash fell off right before I hit play. And I've got the band ready to go. It's one of those pretty easy to remove. And of course, anytime I find a beautiful band, I like to show it. And they put a lot of thought, time and effort into this band, as well as this cigar. You can tell a lot of love and knowledge and everything went into developing this cigar. Pretty enjoyable for me. Again, it's not a heavy smoker. Uh, the draw is still, you know, just right at the middle, ideal. And the flavor profile hasn't changed. It's been a pretty consistent stick. It just kind of started out with like an, uh, an earthiness and a dark chocolate. And then a lot of that's just been the base flavors with the roasted nuttiness. And the, uh, the black coffee has been a lot more prominent here lately. Um, that bitterness and smokiness of, of, you know, a cup of black coffee that a lot of people like, you know, that's a lot of voice there. Now, right after I ended that review on the first couple of draws, right after that last update there, um, I caught a bit of a, a citrusy grassiness, but it was so fleeting. It was like two draws and it was gone. It was just washed out by, like you said, the dark, the just a lot of earth is really the base flavor and then a lot of dark chocolate coffee and um you know things like that the roasted nuttiness mixes really well with the black coffee so you know i like it um body and f and flavor still are a solid full and i would say that the strength has moved up to in my personal preference a solid medium so if uh if you're not used to stouter tobaccos you know maybe steer clear of it or do it after you eat a meal but um, it, it's not a powerhouse by any means. It's just I can feel a little bit of nicotine from it. So, you know, but we'll get into this thing a little further and see if it gets any worse on that. But I can tell you from experience, just halfway through this cigar, these flavors are just going to darken and, and deepen and intensify. So we'll see what happens. Check you later, guys. Okay, to summarize, this Ashton VSG Robusto. Draw still beautiful, still burning beautiful. Um, there has been a shift in flavor, body, and strength. Everything is a full. Uh, flavor and body are a solid full. And in my personal preference, it's a 
it's a light full on the strength. The strength has kicked up a little bit. It's not anything that's hit me in the stomach, just a little bit in the head. So it's fine with me. Um, the flavors, it's, it's been that deep. There's been this core of this deep, dark, rich earthiness. But now it just kind of shifted over to um, some pepper and not so much the pepper flavor, but the tingle on the tongue and then some smoky bitter tobacco, which I enjoy. It's a lot like the uh, Kentucky Fire, fire Cured um, tobacco or, you know, the Italian cigars, which use a lot of uh, Kentucky tobacco, which is a smokier tobacco. That's uh, There's a lot of smokiness there is what I'm getting and that bitterness that kind of comes with it. So anybody but a full strength aficionado would probably want to end it at this point, okay? Flavor profile, I think anybody would enjoy it. But if you can't handle uh, stouter tobaccos, like I said, this is all the highest priming. So I knew that eventually there was going to be some strength and body and everything kick up in this thing. If, you don't, if you're new to uh, cigars and you don't know about primings and all that kind of stuff, go and look that stuff up. You know, do your research on your tobaccos. So then you find out, you know, what it is you like. This is definitely a special occasion cigar. All this is not a special occasion tonight. I'll get another one for a special occasion, though. I wish I could afford these more. Um, online, they're ten, ten and a half dollars, but with shipping, they're about what I pay, which is about eleven and some change. So you know, that's what you're looking at if you get one of these. But you can see it's burned beautifully, performed beautifully. I like the deeper, darker flavor, so I have thoroughly enjoyed this. That's why I'm going to continue after I end this. But I have really enjoyed it. And I think you should guys should give them a try as well. This has been the Ashton VSG. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a good night, guys, and a good week. God bless.